hot steam is passing through a steel pipe. This orange is a steel pipe. And the steam is passing through this. Also, this steel pipe is insulated by the asbestos. And our task is to calculate the outer radius of the insulation or the thickness of the insulation layer which provides a range of uh, heat losses of 2100 watts. On the inner and the outer surface, the connection boundary conditions are set with the temperatures on Kelvins. And also, the thermal conductivities of the steel and the insulation are known. So, Let's go to the cake fields and see the settings. That's my geometry. It's a still. Now it's displayed. And that's asbestos. Thermal quantities are set here, of course. Also, I have the edge labels inside. Convection boundary conditions are set here. It's a 150 degrees is the temperature of steam. And the convection coefficient is also set. It's pretty big volume. And also, I have the connection boundary conditions on the outside edge. 20 degrees Celsius is the temperature of the ambient air. And the connection coefficient is 30. So, let's solve the problem for the initial conditions. That's the temperature distribution. Let's calculate the heat flux passing through this, through the pipe. That's my volume. Minus means that the heat flux pass passing outside. According to the requirements, we should increase this volume. And let's try to do this. I select this button, parametric analysis with label mover. Label mover can do a lot of things. I'm interested in optimization today. At first, every optimization problem required setting of a uh, call function, as you know. I have a, I didn't tell you that I have a one edge label that is called arc x. That's just a, just a surface actually that divides my pipe on steel sides, on the steel part and the insulation part. And the heat flux is passing through this surface as through each of the surface too. Okay. And I'd like to set the heat flux close to minus twenty one hundred. It means that the heat flux passing through the cylindrical surface divided by this uh, by uh, uh, this edge is uh, should be close to 2100 and I add this go function also I should add variations it means that I should 
change something in my program. I will scale the outside edge. The type of variation is the geometric variation. Method is scaling. As in the factor will be within 0 0.5 and 2. And I select outside and press add. OK. And now we can do optimization. On the zero step, quick field solves the problem for the initial conditions. And that's a volume that I have already shown you. On the first step, quick field uh, increase this, uh, the radius of the uh, outside edge. And it leads to the reduction of uh, heat flux, but it's contrary to our task. And on the second step, the, the scale factor reduced it, and it's uh, now less than one. It means that the outer radius of the insulation redu uh, reduced. And on the step Number seven, quick field found the best solution. Very close to the goal function of 2100. Now let's take a look at the settings of this problem. That's my new geometry. As you can see, the insulation layer became thinner. And that's my new radius. That's about 104 millimeters. And let's make sure that the heat flux is about 2100 indeed. Let's calculate heat flux. That is about 2100. 